Hey, Miss Carrie. And Miss Selena here. Today, we are so excited to have you join us to watch the Ollie story. Today, we are going to hear a story about a king, three men, and a fiery furnace. Sounds like quite a story. Yeah, let's get settled and listen. Puddles, and I dropped my favorite teddy bear in one. <sighs> I really don't want to go back out in that rain again. Oh no, it's time to go home for lunch. Mom said to come home when the alarm goes off. That means leaving this warm, dry clubhouse and running home in all this rain. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Ho, ho! This rain has you feeling a little blue. Hi, Ollie. It sure does. It's been raining for days and days now, and my mom needs me to come home for lunch. I know I need to do what she says, but I just don't want to get all wet. Doing what you're told can be hard. It's true. I've got a story just for you. Just listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, 
friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. It's been such a rainy day. It's easy to get down sometimes when you're in the rain or when things don't go your way. But I've got a story that might help. Do you want to hear it? You do? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. This story begins with a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the very best king there ever was, and he wanted everyone to know it. One day he had an idea. He had his people make a giant golden statue of him. Now when I say giant, I mean giant. Wow, look at that. That is huge! And King Nebuchadnezzar loved it so much. So he told all the people in the kingdom to gather around. Then he told them that every time the music played, <clears throat> every time the music played, I guess we need a little music. Can you guys help me? Get out your pretend trumpets like this. Bum, ba, da, bum. And when I say the word music, you play. Ready? Music! Bum, ba, da, bum. Perfect. Trumpets down. Okay. So the king told everyone every time the music played that he wanted everyone to bow down to the statue. That's great. Trumpets down. The king said that if you didn't bow down, he was going to throw you into the fire. Everyone say, dun, 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 dun. Whoa. And the king was serious. So each day the music played and everyone in the crowd bowed down. Wait, stop the music. Not everyone is bowing. How many people do you see standing? Can you count them? One, two, Three. Yes, there are three men that did not bow. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They loved God and wanted to obey him. God had told them never to bow down to anyone but him. So they did not bow down to the statue. How do you think the king felt when he saw these three not bowing? Do you think he was happy? No! He was very mad. The king ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be thrown into the fire. Everyone say, dun, 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 dun. Whoa, if I were them, I would be so afraid. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not afraid. They knew that God was with them and that no matter what happens, God's got it. So they went into the fire, but then something happened. Look, how many people do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, four shadows. Someone else was in the fire. It was an angel sent by God to protect Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. How cool is that? And look at King Nebuchadnezzar. He is so amazed. He had never seen anything like this. And the king said, come out of the fire. So they all came out and they weren't hurt at all. Wow, God was with them and saved them from the fire. From that day on, the king prayed only to God. <laughs> what an incredible story. And don't forget that no matter what, God is always with us. God's got it. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God was with the three friends, and he will be with you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. 
Ho! Ho! Wow, what a great story. God was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego through a really scary time. God stayed with them and did not leave them. God is always with us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! Well, I know God will be with me in the rain, and I need to do what Mom says. So, here I go. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 Bible story was about something else very hot. What was hot in our story? Fire? Yes! King Nebuchadnezzar threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fire because they would not bow down to his statue. That's bad. Yeah, they would only bow down to the one true God. That's good! It is! Who was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire? God? Yeah, that's right! God was with them! God sent an angel to protect Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the fire. King Nebuchadnezzar learned that no matter what happens, God's got it. Who's got, got it? it? God's, God's got, got it. it. We have a new Bible verse this month, and we are going to learn it and help us remember that God is always with us no matter where we go. So are you ready? Stand up. Come on, let's do it. God. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Let's do it again, Miss Okay, Selena. one more time. Okay. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. So should we pray together and thank God for being with us wherever we go? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Dear God, Thank you for being so big and strong and, and being with us wherever we go. And thank you, God, for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and that you were always with them in the fiery furnace. We love you, God. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, friends. Bye.